Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekaran and welcome to FL Studio 12 tutorial. In this video, let us take a look into channel rack. What is a channel rack? A channel rack is a module in which all the instruments and audio clips that will be used in the project can be arranged. For example, let us compose something that involves piano, bass and drums. We already have the drum components, kick, clap, hat, snare. And now let me add piano and bass. So to do that, click this plus button and I'm going to choose FL keys, which I know is a piano module. And then I'm going to click the plus button again. I'm going to choose this plugin okay, for my bass. Okay. The next thing is I need to route these instruments to their own mixer track. By default, they are routed to the master track. Okay, so I click here and then I use the mouse wheel. I just scroll it to the next available track. I'm going to assign the next available here. Remember, you may also route more than one instrument to a mixer track. It depends upon your preference. Now I'm going to create a rhythm for this project. How do I do it? I create a pattern using the instruments that I prefer. Since it's going to be a rhythm, let me use just the rhythm components, okay, which is, uh, which are kick, clap, hat and snare. And I'm going to rename this pattern to drums. Okay, what I'm going to do is, right now it's called, by default, it's called pattern one. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to rename it, okay, to drums. Okay, and I am pressing this, pressing this. Okay, let me reduce the volume of this. Okay. And I am going to fill each two steps in the hat. Okay, I just made a pattern. Okay, let me start this. So this is pattern. This is a pattern and it's called drums here. Now, I want to create bass and I want that to be a different pattern. How do I do it? Press this plus button to create a new pattern. By default, it will be called pattern 2, but I'm going to call it as bass. Okay, so if you see, right the previous values sound values that i input in these sound channels they are not there because this is a different pattern okay if i go back and go to drums then they appear okay so drums is a pattern in which i have used these four instruments now i have created a a new pattern which is currently empty okay and it's called base okay so now I'm going to use just this instrument okay for the base pattern there are two ways you can input the values one is as I did previously you can just press these buttons but what will happen is they actually trigger w only one pitch for that sound instrument it may work well for a rhythm instrument but not for bass or pianos okay so i'm gonna right click them and delete them but i'm gonna input the sound in a different format i'm gonna right click this i'm going to enable piano roll okay let me make this go away okay so now this is the piano roll for bass okay so let me input some values okay i i just did a left click okay and then i dragged it okay so i'm using the c and f and a 
f okay so now let me press play to see how does it sound okay the final product may not sound nice but this is just for the sake of tutorial okay so now i want to add piano to it and i want to add that as a another pattern okay so click this plus button and uh, do i have piano here no by default it's pattern 3 I'm going to rename it to, I had to double click, okay. So I'm calling it melody and in this pattern, I'm going to use only the piano, okay. And I'm going to input the value using piano roll, okay. So I'm just going to do something like this. Okay, let me play. Okay, so this is another pattern. Now, what am I going to do with all these patterns? Okay, let me minimize this. Okay, now let me go to this window, which is called playlist. Okay, I can paste these patterns in this section which is called playlist and I can paste the patterns as I want okay so let me try to do that how do we paste the pattern first go and choose the pattern okay so right now I'm in drums okay and I'm going to paste drums here okay I'm just doing a left click Okay, so now let me adjust this. Okay, I can, if I do this, I can make things a little bit easier to see. Okay, so this button, right? Using this button, I can toggle between channel rack and playlist module. For example, if I press play, right now it's playing just the pattern, okay? And if I press this button, right now it's playing the playlist, okay? So here I have the playlist drums already pasted in track one, okay? Don't confuse this track with the mixer track, okay? These are just tracks. Okay. Now, I'm going to add bass playlist. Okay, I chose it and then I'm going to put it here. Okay, actually, let me move it. So, this are, they span up to like four bars. Okay, that's fine. And another thing is if I click this, right? It automatically changes the pattern for me whatever pattern you click it automatically changes okay so I clicked this and then I'm gonna left click here okay so now let me play the playlist right so now let me add the next playlist which is melody okay I chose the melody and then I've added it, added it here, and I'm gonna play the playlist. Okay, so this is the concept. If you understand the 
order of flow from where the sound gets generated and then up to its final destination then it would be easy for you to work with this software okay and uh, uh, after that once you know the the basic framework of the software then uh, you know uh, it's all your creativity right using your creativity you can create a very nice song but the concept is this sounds originate from channel rack channel rack contains instruments they not only contain instruments they can also contain audio files like whatever we sing everything we'll we'll talk about that later okay and then using these instruments you make patterns okay and then you paste those patterns in the playlist right as the way you want it and once you press play all these patterns will make the sound instruments to make the necessary sound and those sounds will be routed through these mixer tracks to the master track where the final output will be created okay thank you for watching